early in the morning is when you want to take your dog outside and go for a walk. You're not going to want to be out there as we approach and get into those triple digits. If you're getting the dog in the car today or the next couple of days, never leave your pet in the car alone. Now that's because with temperatures getting above 110, it can feel like 130 in your car in just 15 minutes. If you do need to take your pet out later in the day, try to walk on grass. Remember those roads and sidewalks can get way too hot for their paws. And watch for heat stroke. Many dogs with thick coats could struggle to cool down, so limit their time in the heat. When they're, they're drooling a lot and they're panning a lot, make sure they got a whole lot of water and you can even spray them as long as you've got nice cool water where the hose hasn't been sitting too much out in the sun. Um, just use common sense and you and your dog will be happy. Now an easy way to tell if a surface is too hot for your pet, take the back of your hand and put it down on the ground. And if you can't leave it there for more than seven seconds, then it is way too hot for your pet. Also think about if you're going to be walking barefoot, that's what your pet is doing. So if you're not going to want to walk barefoot, they're not going to want to be outside walking around either. We have all this information and more up on our website right now. Reporting at the Humane Society of Southern Arizona, Jack Cooper, back to you.